So today we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the MSI Z68A GD80B3 motherboard. So the Z68A GD80B3 motherboard features their military class 2 concept, which means they have the super ferrite chokes, the high C caps with the tantalum core, which is very rare evidently. You have solid caps with up to a 10 year lifetime of solid use, as well as their OC Genie technology, USB 3, SATA 6, SLI, Crossfire X, and full support for Intel's full lineup of Intel Core i3, i5, i7 processors on LGA 1155. It features a three-year warranty in Canada and the US, and in other regions, I have no idea. So here, there's just a little bit more explanation of what Military Class 2 means, as well as a list of their features, including their Winky 3, which is uh, like a quick OS you can log into in the BIOS if you want to browse the internet or go on Skype or hot load windows for whatever reason. Uh, supercharger, so you can charge your iPad, iPhone, and mobile at high speed even when your PC is shut down. That's a cool feature. As well as their instant overclocking, which is uh, obviously tied into OC Genie, which is their one button overclocking. Press the button, you're overclocked. Remember, OC Genie only works with K-series processors, though. Okay, three PCI Express 16X slots for up to three-way crossfire or two-way SLI. And finally, overclock in one second, OC Genie 2, yes. So, auto detect and overclock CPU memory. Oh, and the integrated GPU. Now, remember, with the Z68 chipset, the integrated GPU clock speed is actually going to matter even if you're using a dedicated graphics card. And the reason for that is that the Z68 chipset allows you to use the integrated GPU to accelerate video encoding. So, that's pretty cool. So, that will affect that performance. Okay, here we have extreme power design. So, 12 phases. Uh, we have Dr. Moss as well as an extra 6-pin VGA power connector for providing more power to the PCIe slots. We have two BIOS chips just in case one of them has some kind of a problem, maybe during flashing or whatever the case may be. You will have no problem restoring from the second BIOS chip. Let me just pull the board out. See we've got some nice environmentally friendly packaging going on here. Just gonna move that there, camera. Okay. See if there's anything I'm missing here. So there's another note about turb supercharger. Oh, okay. So the supercharger USB ports are marked. You know what? I'll show you the uh, the accessories first, and then we'll go through the other features. So here is a little map of the board, as well as some key points about the board that you could find on the box if you so desired. Drivers and utilities DVD, throw it away, download the latest off the MSI website. You've got M connectors, which are an easier way to plug in your front USB. Uh, and front panel connectors, quick installation guide, one, two, three, four SATA 3 6 gigabit per second cables, which are not different except that they are white, and then you have two Molex to SATA power cables, IO shield, uh, VCheck cables. So this board features VCheck, which means that you can use a digital multimeter to uh, manually check the voltages going to some of the key components. We have an SLI bridge. Remember, your Crossfire bridge should be included with your graphics card. USB 3 rear panel header with an internal uh, internal pinout. Okay, just in case your case doesn't have extra uh, have front USB 3 and you still want to use the extra ports. So you've got a user guide as well as a software user guide. All right. The board itself. There we are. So military class two sticker comes off, and oh, this is interesting. Looks like they've changed the uh, they've changed the socket cover from what they were using before, which was uh, a piece that goes under. So I don't even know how this one works. Look at that. There, okay, that's how it works. Take off our OC Genie 2 thing, and let's have a look at the board. So why don't we start in the CPU socket area. So here's where your LGA 1155 CPU goes. That will give you uh, full support, as I said before, for Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7 processors. Here's your 12-phase power design, as well as your tantalum core little guys here. So that's part of the military class 2 concept, which is prominently featured on the branding on the board. We've got our 8-pin CPU connector up here in its ideal location in the top left corner. Big fan of that, personally. As well as 
four DDR3 slots for dual channel memory. We've got our 24 pin connector in its ideal location along the right hand edge, as well as V checkpoints here. So we have checkpoints for the VCCP, CPU VTT, CPU GFX, so that's the onboard VGA, VCC DDR, as well as PCH. What is that? PCH1P05, interesting, as well as two ground points. All right, moving down, we have two SATA 3 6 gigabit, oh, rather, hold on, hold on just a minute. SATA 5, 6, SATA 3, 4, yeah, two SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second, four SATA 2, 3 gigabit per second, then we have an additional SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second running off of a third party controller. All right, here are our front USB ports. This is the one with supercharge, the one with the red background behind it. I don't know if you can see that red background, can you? Um, okay, and then we've also got our USB 3 front panel header, OC Genie button, Power, reset, another, oh no, this is a Firewire front panel header, our front audio, as well as our PCIe slot. So, PCIe slot layout. We've got uh, one, two, three PCIe 16X slots. We have two PCIe 1X slots and two PCI slots. So, if you are installing three dual slot cards, you will have left. Now, you gotta make sure you have a case that has an additional PCI slot because it's gonna hang over the edge, but you will be left with one PCIe 1X slot and one PCI slot. So that's very rich expansion capabilities if you're running a three-way graphics card configuration. If you're running a two-way graphics card configuration, you're gonna be left with one PCIe 1, one PCI, and one PCIe 16. Here's that uh, PCI Express six pin power connector right here. So if you are running a few graphics cards, you're probably gonna to wanna to plug that in to make sure that you're providing all of the juice you need to your graphics cards. Here on the back, the IO shield, we have one of those PS2 uh, keyboard mouse combo ports. We have optical audio out, a reset CMOS switch. I love the reset CMOS switch on the back IO. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, really? Four USB 2.0 ports? That's it? Okay. Four USB 2.0 ports. Uh, we have eSATA, FireWire, dual gigabit ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, so that is still a total of six USB ports. We have DVI out, as well as HDMI out, and 7.1 audio out. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Z68A GD80B3, and let me just see if there's anything that I missed here. I don't think there is. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.